Hey, Shane Penley here with OutSuite Marketing. Today, we're with one of our favorite clients, uh, Mark Bialis from Wildberry. Thank you so much for doing this interview with us and, and talking a little bit about it. I, I will have to say, being from Ohio, and uh, I feel like I, I grew up with Wildberry. Oh, you know? nice. So uh, coming in here and always smelling it, it reminds me of my, like, I guess, childhood and teenage and all that stuff, but really cool. So I wanted to just take the opportunity. We're sitting in front of memorabilia and seeing everything that you've, uh, that you've created and what you've put together and wanted to take the opportunity. I know a lot of people know a lot about your, your story and so on, but I, th I think it would be so great to kind of hear it from you on how great. you got started. And, um, I'd been doing leather work as a hobby and uh, met a guy in Cleveland who had a leather shop. We were doing craft fairs at the time. And he, he, I met him at a craft fair, and he said, well, come in my shop, and I'll give you some pointers. Back in those days, he had a, his leather shop was a little shotgun shop on the west side of Cleveland. And next to it, his wife ran a candle shop where they made candles. And they also made incense there. So yeah, he, uh, he kind of turned me on to making incense. And it's been a, a great item for us ever since. Um, um, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, somewhere along the way, this one guy suggested we make it a little differently, which made a big difference. And uh, was it with the how it burns slower? Or it, well, it, it it's, uh, has to do with the way the uh, the fragrance hangs to the stick mm -hmm. and how it disperses. Um, in those days, everybody was using an alcohol to make their fragrances. You, you can't use use straight fragrance. Yeah. You need to thin it with something. And this was uh, something that was different. Yeah. But I couldn't find anybody that had a product that was as good as what we had. So a little light bulb went off in my head. I thought, well, we should be the ones that are selling to other people. So we came up with a program, not just a product, but the project. And um, first took it to the boutique show in New York City. And it's just been slow, steady growth ever since. Yeah, when did you open the store? 1971. 1971. Yeah. And it's still there. We went there today, went in and said hi to everybody, and, <laughs> and it was great. Right? So, no, it's, it's so great to see you've created a wonderful brand. And then as I'm walking around, I'm like, I didn't remember the second warehouse. And you've just put this, the second warehouse together, right? It's, I we, mean, did. How, we did. How, how long ago was that? Uh, here at the end of June, about, mm -hmm. what was it, six, eight weeks ago. Wow. Less yeah. than eight weeks. Ago. And you're already filling up with some overflow and yeah. so on. But Well, yeah, we made a bit an effort to, to fill this up with stuff that we didn't have at the other store because that store is kind of small. Yeah. And so we have bigger merchandise here. Yeah, so talking with a little bit, of, I, I uh, believe it was Kim we were talking to, and mm -hmm. talking about a little bit of growth and what's happening here and so on, and a lot of really cool stuff happening. And I had asked the question, I said, you know, what outside of the U.S., I mean, where are your big buyers and where are you guys going into? Yeah. You've got stuff in Japan and you've got stuff in, was it Australia? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in Australia, we're in New Zealand, we're in a, a bunch of European countries. We're in uh, Guam and Iceland, a lot, a lot of places. Uh, well, I think it's amazing. You've got a lot of stuff going on. I know we're doing a lot of different things on social media and obviously some video. Mm -hmm. And uh, But just taking the time and sitting with you and kind of hearing a little bit of your story and, and so on. So I'm sure a lot more people are going to be hearing a lot more about Wildberry. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. Well, it's for your my time. pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Wild-berry.com uh, for more information. See all the wonderful products that they, that they have. And uh, talk to you soon. Sure, thank you. Thank you.